You're on. Welcome to my crib. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Welcome to the Hellwide episode of MTV Cribs. This, this is, is the spare bath. This is the spare bath because you never know when two people might have to poop at the same time. Yeah, well, you don't have to take your shoes off. To... Oh, that's a good call. Yeah. You can go to the bathroom without having to do shoe removal. Well, apparently, Lars and Tara own 1,100 pairs of shoes each, which is perfectly acceptable if you ask me. Yeah. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, what? Master bath. The inner bedroom. sanctum. The yeah. master bedroom. Wow. Still in construction. Still under construction, but looking clever. Yeah. Looking nice. Has a little... Oh, wow. Is this the secret passageway to the bathroom? This is the master bath. The master bath for Lars, who happens to be the master. With Look the, at that shower. With the rain shower. The rain shower. Oh, make it rain. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Cribs episode without someone saying make it rain. <laughs> Beautiful. And the master closet. The master closet. That is awesome. Excellent. Like that plenty of stuff. It, well, and then you get to see the lake you from can the see bedroom. The lake from the bedroom. And oh wow, look at that. There's an escape. If you just can't, if you need to see the lake even closer, you can run out this little Who, passageway. Whose side of the bed do you think that is? This is probably your side of the bed, I'm gonna guess. Very nice. With some tough acting to act, and that's that you have to have that. Yeah, it's 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 tough. It's fast acting, which helps is, your toes. It's convenient that acting rhymes with connecting. Oh, we got a washer and dryer. Looks like state of the art. General yeah. Electric. Too fancy for me. I can't Too even fancy for Lars. Yeah. They keep beeping at me. They keep beep Lars. This apparently is a washing machine. Is angry. Have. This is the our beautiful, beautiful countertops. Kitchen. Look that this. Tara stained herself. Self stained countertops. Six burners. Look at this guy. Like Emerald Pagasi oh. up in here. Here we got the fridge. The fridge this refrigerator, ladies and gentlemen, shows you photos of your life. There's Alaska. Does your fridge have Alaska on it? I don't think so. Only this one. Wow, the, the living area, the living chamber. Look at this. Just a thing of beauty. Which do you think Tara got? Uh, I'm gonna guess the one on the left. That is correct. Oh, sorry. Of course it is, I can it's tell. <laughs> wow. Beautiful tall ceilings. There's gorgeous here. We well, go. apparently we have guests. We have guests. Let's go to the second level. Where we have Mike and Armand here who are also taking the, the grand tour. Uh, we're enjoying the view. Enjoying the view. I'm glad you pointed out the view, Mike, because it truly is something spectacular to be taken in. This is an area where Lars can sit in his chair, stare at the lake and muse about... Play checkers. Play checkers, yes. Or battleship. It's a wonderful view. Or a rainy lake. Let's overlook the entire living area. These guys are all staring at me very awkwardly. It's creepy to end the shot with you guys staring at me, but that's okay. Yeah, we're the creepy ones. Yeah, yeah. Guy with the camera. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's right. Okay, this is Lars's office. And those are pictures yet to hang. Pictures yet to hang, to be continued with those. And here's Les Lars, let's show them my personal favorite feature of your home here. The throne with the view. There's a throne. Ladies and gentlemen, you can take a dump while looking at Rainy Lake. It is by far the greatest construction and design ever. Here's the toilet, you got a good level off the ground. Looks like a relatively comfortable seat. You don't want it too comfortable, people stay in there for too long. And as you're on there, Look at that, just beautiful. Unbelievable, it's like being at the cabin. Find that out, or it's just gonna work out that way. No, I, well, there's even, for so that truly lake poop sensation, there's pine cones you can use instead of oh. toilet paper under the sink, is that correct? I, I should that. set some pine cones on the window. <laughs> that, that would be nice. And here we have the guest room, which I may inhabit for various weekends. Perfectly comfortable, also beautiful windows. We are gonna get a bigger bed. Okay. Noted. <laughs> bigger bed and a little bit. Beautiful. Yeah, well, we could get you a bigger riding horse if you want. Yes. You know, I have my own. It's a uh, Clydesdale variety, a little bigger. <laughs> Got some reins on it. Authentic. Cool. Well, this has been the tour of... Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? You got the most important part. The baby's room. The baby's room. The nursery. Wow. It looks like well, this is amazing. This 
much. Yeah. She's only having one, right? As far as I'm aware. <laughs> yeah. Because apparently There's enough for ten in here. You are prepared for the next like seven children that you guys produce, <laughs> ready to go. Do you have this much stuff? No, we don't. We well, today is the start of the beginning. Right now, all of a sudden, they don't have this much stuff at we Walmart, Lars. <laughs> so you've got room we for one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Where are the two in there? That's what I said. So that Tara said, "No." <laughs> what well, wow. she wants eight? No. She, yeah, probably. Lovely. Well, Lars, this concludes your tour or our tour of your crib. Any parting words to your viewing audience? Thank you for visiting. That's very clever, Lars. Very. Sincere, I appreciate very it. Very thoughtful. Very catchy. Have a good day. Yes.